What's up, sweetie pies? My name is Cake Game Lady, and welcome to part 11 of Night in the Woods. When the last part, we went to the library to research on various types of ghosts that have visited in Possum Springs over the years, and we found some leads, like one in the graveyard, of course, one in the woods, and the other in a museum. But I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in this part, so I'm going to get started, shall we? Okay, let me go look at the computer before I leave, just in case. So, okay, rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequencies for obvious reasons, of course. Why is it only sharks? Why not, like, dolphins or just fish? Or whales? How about that? I would definitely love to see some dolphins. What's this? Could play some bass? But which song? Jeez, I can play bass now? Okay, now I'm not gonna play. I gotta go. Maybe. So, gotta go downstairs and see if mom and dad are okay. That's probably at work right now. Okay, I already got the tooth, so no need to worry about that. Hey, bird. Sorry, I'm always rude to you. At least I said I'm sorry. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like, real-life ghosts? Do we have any books for vet jobs, I guess? Guess not. Let's see... Okay, the boxes are still here. And there's Mom. She doesn't look mad, I guess. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, I definitely look like it. I guess they need some coffee. Yeah. Uh, weird dreams with extra caffeine. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Well, what else can I say? Um, creepy, unusual. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I sleep a lot. I mean, more than 10 hours or so you already get? You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Well, I talked to Greg, Angus, and B, and I went to the library. Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was... weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting up makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. I like mom. She's nice. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Really? I love them. Just want to never leave bed. That's one of the reasons why. I love them. Yep, nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Gloomy little eel, aren't you? Eels, Mom. Eels, honey. All right, I'm out. Bye-bye, sweetie. She's cute. Hmm, okay, so what can I do outside? I'm probably going to go with either B, Angus, or Greg, depending on who I pick. But first, let me go look around before I do anything. Let me go out to the bridge and see if there's anything there that I need to look at before I go visit them. Hmm. Nice little place. It always feels like it's about to set, set the sun. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I just gonna sit. Okay, so much for that. That was a complete bust. So, let me go up here, see if there's anything new. Unfortunately, no on that one. None on that. Love the squirrels, though. I have yet to see any of my neighbors since I came here. Except for one yelled at me and one was just raking the leaves. Speaking of, he needs to rake it again because his leaves are everywhere. 
See nothing. Okay, let me see if Selmers is here. Here we go. Hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Aw, thanks. Having you bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Yeah. This is a short one, okay? Because I'm tired. Me too. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. <laughs> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. Okay. What were you doing at the library? Looking up ghosts. I go to the library. No, but seriously. Okay. A crocodile with a hat. Who's she thinking about? Crying. Was it her ex? I don't know. Okay, so let me go talk to the guy. I play me Manjo Claw Hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You should. You know Long Black Veal? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep. My dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. Come on. Only one out of three and you're just gonna give that up? We could make a mean band. Maybe they'll let him play on the band. Oh wait. Who is that? That one's new. I gotta go up there quick. Stay, let's see, let's see. Oh. Wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. I guess not. Oh, jeez. This will be fun. Hey, little girl. Hey. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Yeah, I never seen you before until now. Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like a bear where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. <laughs> I used to lay awake at night. Yeah? Worried that the statue would come to life. Yeah, that's pretty creepy being outside the window and all. And climb in my window. Oh, jeez. That's spooky. You never want someone hanging outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. Okay. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. So, that's it. See ya, Liz. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. Again, I'm just going to visit some people before I meet either one. Okay, let's see in here. Oh, fisherman guy! Hey, how are you doing? Me thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy, you know. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Sorry, it's just that you talk so loud. See, guy's still at work even though there's no one here to buy his pretzels. <sighs> I guess people like pierogies? That's why I never see pierogies. Ooh, look at this. This one's new. Hey, owl guy. Ahoy there, May. How do you know my name? Ha ha ha. Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? 
Uh, I guess I kind of dropped out. Uh, what should I say? I'll tell him the truth. Oh, dear May. Yeah, uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know! So what are you even doing down here? It's my side hustle. Salvi salvage. Okay, I guess you salvage stuff from the river, I guess? What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of the fine goods. For the discerning antique enthusiasts. Okay, side hustle. Yeah. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but... Might be fun. Uh... Why not? Uh... This probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey, teens! I'm gonna go on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. They didn't say anything. What was... Okay, let's go. Hmm. What was he saying about that? Oh, wow. This is really dangerous here. And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past. Between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. What am I doing controlling the light for? Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here we coming up on one now. Where is it? I don't see it. You'll see. Is glowing? Ah, oh, jeez. Where is it? This is garbage. I see a tennis racket. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around. Find something. Okay. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah. Yours is sediment and rocks and junk. Haha. <laughs> you called it junk too. Okay, so... Oh wow. It's a thing. A tennis racket. A sled, really bad boat. What do you call those things that you put on your feet to walk in the snow? Shoot, I forgot. Maybe you like to sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Uh, why not? Ah, yeah, let me a mysterious garbage object. Okay, so, in this thing. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Instead of this other thing? Uh, why? What's, what's the difference if I choose one or another? Why can't I carry both? Uh, yeah. It's so big and axy, and it went exactly where it was far away from me. Okay. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murder garbage axe. Yes, you can conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? No. I keep my options open. Oh, dear. Okay, now what? And somehow he run over his own foot. No! With the mower. That's bound. That's gotta hurt. Ugh! Yeah, he got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Hopefully he did not put him with the lawnmowers again. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. 
Are we... Wait, why? We got bats down here. And yet you tell me this now? So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They'll mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready. We're coming up on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, here we go. Above me. Oh, I'm shining. Where is it? Wow! Jeez. That's not much. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. But they also carry rabies. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat gang on my boat. Soon, Sooner swim back than have a dang bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. Alright, here we're coming on another island. Garbage ho! Nothing much on this one. You gonna look around? Yep. No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Okay. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once in a week. Last fall us and some of the boys from the factory days. Went up to Stutter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six point buck. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Okay, so let's go look around. Oh my god! It's a coconut monkey! Like the one Granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Let me go look around. It's kind of stinky and soft. Let's see. Who? Holy, you know. Dracula teeth. These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take this excellent Dracula teeth? Uh, yeah. Why do Draculas say blah? I'm gonna put these on and find out. Should probably clean them first. Yes, definitely. I wonder who lost the teeth, though. Find anything good? Dracula teeth. Oh, wow. I remember these. They still make them. Now there is a market that never goes away. Pro people will always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice. I'm going to put these in. Oh god, please don't. They're disgusting. Gonna bite ya. Alright, let's keep going. Blah! Okay, and that's how I saved the longest night. Haha, <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it'll spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your next car? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But we ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Okay, is there any bats? I'm not seeing any bats. Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Shoot, do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready. Shine up there and get rid of them. Hopefully I get this. Aye aye, sir. Here they come. Where are they? I don't see anything. Uh, shoot. Jeez. Ow! God. There's too many of them. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Whew. 
Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Haha. <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many islands are we going to visit? How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seen, seen to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. Wow, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. That's okay. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Okay, let's go look around. Wonder what I can find. Uh-huh. Wonder how old this is. What is it, though? It's pretty soggy. What sport I even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? I don't even know what it is, so no. It's gross, and I don't care about sports. Anymore. Okay, so... Oh, nice. Football. Our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's fun it's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter. In case I slip on the ice. That's a good plan. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Yep. Could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? Yeah. It's functional. Here we go. Find anything good? Football helmet. Ooh, you sure you want that? Why, what's wrong with it? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool. You take it. Why that hesitation, though? No, it's all right. It's your boat. It's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, May. No, I think you should have it. No, May, you take it. Take it. I don't want it. Neither do I. Take it. It's yours. Why are we fighting over this thing? Dang it, you take this helmet. No. Ah, uh, you go straight to... Jeez, what is with this? Dang, I should not said any of that. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, I yelled. Me too. But why didn't you want the football helmet? You happy with your helmet? Yeah, it's functional. Hmm, still, that was weird, though. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back there, though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh, wow. Is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats that back there. So maybe we can make one last stop. At the big one. The big one? The big one? I thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir too, I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. 20 years old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing. What's it always been doing? Hmm. Alright, here we are. The big one. Okay, another trolley car, though. Wow. This 
This looks like something I dreamed. Or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay off the track. Come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water, water, bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. Nobody got that effort. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Jeez. Oh yeah. You gonna go look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I still look around. Hmm, let's see. Anything around here? Well, there's this thing. I wonder what this used to lock up. So it's a lock. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe. Or secret. Do I want to take this? Not yet. It's just junk now. And I got nothing locked up anyway. Except for, what else is, oh, what is this? Is this a tuba? Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Yeah. It's really pretty. And it works. It should have someone to appreciate it. Let's see, let's see. I wonder what the lock does. And would any of this stuff I have be any use later on. Find anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I thought it was a tuba. I'm gonna clean it out. Maybe play it. Or at least make it some noise. Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. May save the horn. Okay, another one? Jeez. Here we are. Wow. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're back in the tunnel again. Jeez, that was long. Okay. Why am I in silhouette, though? And I can't talk to him. What in the world? What am I doing? Ha ha ha! What? There's some beer cans and a mattress back here. In a spot where a fire was. I guess someone camped there. In a sock. In some weed, it looks like. Someone did partying back here. Ha 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 ha! That must be new. Teens. It was the teens. Ha ha ha! There's nowhere you can go that the teens have not already been. Oh god. The mattress. Yeah. That's unsavory. Whose idea was it to get high, drunk, and then boink? Yeah, one world. Way back here. I'm guessing someone really drunk. It does seem a lot of trouble to go to. This is hilarious. It's very funny. Okay, so let me look at the mural. So that's it. That's the other mural. It just shows them going down the hill. I guess they're heading home. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologist will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Pla places can't control how they're remembered. That's, they just hang out and then fall apart. Man, it's 
gun deep. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. So from what I'm gonna do, I already looked. And I can't move. Hmm. Okay, so I didn't need to move. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. That's a cute drawing. Junebug. That's cute. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat. And go find some trash. And sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. You too. Good luck. So, they said the teens are here? Let me go see if they're there. No, the teens are here. One world. So much for the teens being here. Okay, let me go up to the church. See how Bruce and Pastor K are doing. Especially with the town council and all. Let me go check on, on Bruce first. See, let's see. So far, it's peaceful. Oh, Bruce! Man, what are you doing way up here? Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because of the leaves? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Yeah, where is she? Sorry. It's fine. Well, I guess that's it. I wonder what happened to his daughter? Or where is she? One world. A fox? Another fox with a... arrow? Hey, Jen. Oh, I know this one. Hey, Mayborowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick up some stuff from Greg's mom. I'm guessing that's his relative. Haul him back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Uh... Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. Well, you can... You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. Yeah. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Well, he's far up nigh the church now. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Okay. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine. Oh, that's his cousin? That's nice. He needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. That's nice. Jen, Greg's cousin. Okay. That's cute. I wonder why she's out there, though, and not visiting Greg. Okay, nothing over here. That seems neat. I didn't notice that before. Okay, it's time to visit Pastor K. I hope she's doing okay because of the whole town council thing. It's not like they're thinking of letting Bruce stay because they, ha they want their image to be kept nicely. See. Hey, Mom. Hey, you free? Maybe. Wanna go on a quick adventure? I'm going on all kinds of adventures, am I? Don't you have a job? Pasture's gone? I'm gonna skip out. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's skip work. 
Only I'm skipping work, hun. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. Okay, so let's go then. I wonder what we're gonna do. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've ever been up here. Man, look at the pole over there. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No. We as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I had several Wii's. Uh-huh. I like this. This is so nice. This is nice. Exactly. Used to be a lot more trees up around here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place. Yes. Let's see. I like how we walk. It's so cute. So, what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? Jenny's Field? That's really weird. Why is it named that? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter. Walk in here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her. Like what we're doing now. And then she's just gone. Like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up. When a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. So that's why. They never found her. Aw, oh, man. Just... Whoops. Gone. So, wait. Why are we here? What? You not up for a little risk-taking? Okay, so... Here we go. Jeez! Ah! What's wrong? Well, for one thing, I fell. I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? Yeah, she tricked me. When was this a chimney? Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why would they do that? Why? Yeah. Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? Ha ha ha. Oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. Okay. Let's see. Let me see if I can climb. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up up here. Ha ha ha. Yes. Good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, Possum Spring, the Mesa Valley, the highway. How this one? What does it look like? Uh, a quilt? Well, it's a cozy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. I guess it does. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Yeah. Where I was in a big parking lot by the tracks. And I start running. But there's always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? Why? You're my mom. Okay. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. What? That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll have to keep you. Hmm. <laughs> I can see what your expression was when you said that. Did you need to? No. Well, see you at home. 
That was it? Where are you going? Hey! Jenny's Field. Isn't that nice? Too bad it doesn't have an image. But that was nice. Mom, eels, I like that. Ah, oh, she's and poor Jenny in the ground. Okay, so what can I do? Maybe Lori's up there? So, is Lori here today? What was that? Jeez, just watch your soap operas, okay? Let's see, is Lori? Yep, there she is. Don't need to worry about the rats anymore. They're all grown up. Oh! Oh! This is so neat! A bear playing a violin! Violin! Hey! Hello! I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Is that how you say? Or Sal- I don't know. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I guess playing music for money. I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. I don't have any. Then I'm not busking. Cool. That was- that was quick. But still, I like that. Seeing a lot of characters I don't even know. Hey, Lori? Drawing something? Yeah. Drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. And I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's about, or... What's about? Um... Lady finds a window in her wall. That wasn't there before. That would be really creepy. And it's like looking at her backyard. But it's always sunset. And there's this guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Yeah. Really? I mean, if you look at that window you see a guy standing there looking at you, then you'd be really creeped out. I know I would. I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where did the idea come from, or... How, where do you got the idea from? I like a lot of horror movies that are actually... That are really gory. gory. But gory isn't always scary. Yeah, too much blood is not exactly scary. So I was thinking of what's scary, yeah. And I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new. Or maybe you just never noticed it before, like walking into the house and you seeing a guy standing in the corner that you never seen before. And there's someone strange very nearby. And I don't know. Hmm. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. See you later. Shoot. Anything else before I go? Hmm. Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? Oh! Well, that guy's back, but the girl's gone. Hmm. Guessing they're having their own separate coffee breaks. Okay, let me go look over here. For sale. I can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. Yeah, in case. Okay, let's see. Wonder... Let me go talk to... Angus. Hey, Angus. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Not yet. Thanks, though. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Okay, I can go upstairs. Let's see, let's see. Upstairs and the elevator. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm up here on the roof and there's a bird guy reading a newspaper. Maybe I can talk to him? Hey, what are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Yam short is the Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, jeez. We need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. They're gonna be like yam riots. Because not enough yams. Worst reasons. Well, thanks anyway. Anyway, what can I do? Shoot, I gotta get there again. And I fall. I wonder why that one is all boarded up. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. D do I gotta tell you everything? Wow. Nah, nah. Just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Yeah, their friendship is going down the tubes. But why, though? Okay, these are all boarded up. Okay. What the heck is a molt? I think it's a shake. You always see, like, that during, like, Scooby-Doo cartoons. They always go to the malt shop. And she's... Here you go, so... Yeah, I'm not getting up there, am I? There we go. Oh, there it is. Another one. There we go. And there we go. I wonder what those do. No idea. We go and see what's up here. Nothing. Ooh, look at this. I can go in. Who keeps leaving these doors unlocked? Ooh! Jazz. Love the saxophone. Hello, birds. Hello, too. Holy. That's a lot of birds. Yeah. And it's gonna be bad once this happens. What's this? Huh, pentagram. That's weird. Why are we being here? Love this guy. Um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. Sadie? What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. I mean, exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town? I guess. Are you on stage a lot, or... Yeah, are you on stage a lot? Nope. Not for a long, long time, at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yep, that's why it's all boarded up. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least, not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound, infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. Ha ha ha. That's, that it is, that it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself. And playing music. Small world. Ha <laughs> ha, well... Small town, at least. Definitely. See ya. I wonder if I can talk to that guy and tell him about this guy playing the saxophone in the stage. Okay, time to go down. Let's see. Ooh, look! Dear guy! Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? Greg has a lot of cousins. You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin Jen, like... The other cousin? No. Who are you, then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council? 
Rick Town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoing an inf infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. It's a basically like uh, maintenance thing. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figure it, it'd be helpful. I don't know. Lots of places are scared of new things. Just want to keep things like they are forever falling apart. It's frustrating. You're really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Can you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all gonna be robots anyway, so... Jeez. Yeah. Huh? Is that it? I got it. You're Donna's cousin. Yeah. She used to babysit me. Who's Donna? Oh, wow. You're the kid that killed a bird with her mace? It was an accident, and I was like nine. Ha ha ha. I thought it was like perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly. Just... Ah! Woof! Dead. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. Nice to catch up on old friends. We go over here. Okay, let me go see if Germ's here. We well, and see if there's anything different. Other than the food donkey being gone and all. Oh, there, hey, Germ. Hey. Hey. Why? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Hopefully not. Yeah, sure. Hop on my bike. Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. And it's that far away, we're right by the food donkey. I guess you could like run behind it. Yeah. Okay, fine. I wonder why he wants to see me though. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool, I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. Are we back at the bridge the first time? Um, I skinned my elbow or I hit my head pretty hard. I'll just say I skinned my elbow. I can like ride you to the hospital for the serious wound. Put the siren on. Okay, here we go. Isn't this the same bridge from before? Yeah, so much for being right behind Food Donkey is way out of town. So, what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Sure. Really? Yeah, I guess. It's not like you're gonna kill me right here. Okay. Bye. What? Oh shoot, where'd he go? Oh my god, Germ! Oh jeez, dude. Is he okay? Hey! Yep, he's okay. Thank goodness. What the heck, man? Jump! It's fine! Oh, for real? Yeah, why not? How do I jump? There you go. Ah, shoot. That was a bad landing. Dude, you scared me to death. Why? You fell off the big stuff all the time. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Not like I can go jumping off cliffs or whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? I come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. Uh, you hang out in the sewer pipe or are you showing me the sewer? Um, are you showing me the sewer? I thought you'd be interested. I saw like 10 rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Were they like really big? Okay, so it seems clean for a sewer pipe. And what world is this? Looks like someone's been doing science in here. Okay, so... I started coming down here a few months ago. To, like, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh, look at that! Is that a rat? 
No, wait a minute. That's a possum. Oh, hey, rabies. Ah! Oh, that's cute. Looks like a rat slash cat. Rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is Rabies. His name is Rabies. His name is Rabies? I found him when they pulled that body out of here. What body? After that big flood a few months back. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him some chips and ice cream. Sounds right. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him. So I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, rabies. Speak. Ah, That's cute. Oh my god. He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to him, May. Okay, rabies. I love him. I love him too. So cute. You got any pets? No. I got some rats downtown. Sweet. Okay. So there's like weird stuff on the walls in here. And one of them happens to have a shape of a cat. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown? Nah. Rabies is trash king. Uh, shoot. How about this one? It's a prophecy. Written by ancient hobos. There's like... All kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm like the only person to really map the... Okay, rabies again? Hey, rabies! What you got there? Oh my god! What is that? Is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Aw, he's tearing it off! Holy effing crud! He is the best. Yes, he is. He's the king. And I love him. You should take him home. No way. He pee all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh yeah. Rabies is wild. Let him be wild. And he's so cute. Aw, look he's eating it. I love that. I love doing that. See ya. See ya, germ. There we go. I love the drawing. Anything up here before I visit the others? And why is it glitching? Okay, let's go see Greg before I see everyone else. I already visited Genghis, so I might as well go visit B. Hey Greg, you know that your cousin's in town? Sup, kid? How's the snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk, and I was throwing up when the light bulb delivery came. I had to sign for it while puking. Oh god. Jeez. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Yeah, you wanna smash some light bulbs? Okay, hopefully I don't get hit in the face with the can again. Shoot! Come! Whoosh! I, I suck when it comes to this. Ah! Get it together, dude. I'm trying. So hard to calculate and where's he? See, I can see that now. There you go. So pure and good. Man, we're making a huge mess. Ah! So much for jumping. Dang it! There we go. Catheratic. I don't know if he asks how you say it. Yeah, you should wear a helmet. Attack the bulb planet. Ha! You missed. Man. So, we're just breaking the bulb that just came in. Blow up the sun! Oh, shoot. There you go. I think I got the cut. Ha! Jeez! Are you just attacking me with soda cans? The bat! Use the bat to hit with. Can't help it, you throw him too high. There we go. 
Yeah, that's definitely a cut right by my ear. But I wasn't even throwing it to you. There we go. Alright, I'm smiling, but it hurts. So you want to stop? Wow, out of bulbs. Yep. Wonder if we needed any of those. From the way it looks, no. Whatever, Christine will order more. Christine is going to get suspicious. This is a magical place. She's going to say, why are we ordering so many light bulbs this year? Okay, so that was good. Too bad I couldn't tell him about his cousin that came into town. Okay, so let's do this, let's do this. So I'm going to go with B first to the graveyard. Because for one thing, I definitely need to see if there's any leads in the graveyard. Because when you think of a ghost, what is the first thing that you think of? Exactly, a graveyard. So, that would be the best lead. Because a historical society, not really much. The woods, like I said, not really much. Unless you want to learn about ghosts. But if you want to encounter ghosts, you go to the graveyard. Okay, here's B. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool! But also, maybe it might have consequences. Yeah, like your father. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're gonna burn this place down for me. Oh, cool! But also, maybe I go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. Unless they suspect I'm an arsonist. So, work's not going well? Uh... So, anything new? Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do that. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, what are we going to get see at the graveyard? I'm really curious. Hey, here we go. It's nice and foggy, too. Foggy. Yep. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. It's good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. Okay, so let's continue on. But man, look at the graves. There's a lot. And there's a statue up there. That kind of looks like the janitor from before. Well, there's a statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but whatever. So... We wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Okay, so we're just standing here then? Know any ghost stories? Not, not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh... The things are like monumental screwed right now. Like, give me an example. And no one in power gives a dang. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I mean like a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night, a skeleton outside your window. How about that one? A regular stranger person outside your window. Now that's definitely scarier. He's smiling, he's frowning. He's smiling, that's always the scariest. If he's frowning, then that's not much scary. And he's from the bank. <laughs> That is definitely scary. Oh, come on. He's here. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. 
Okay, fine. That works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Okay. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. Okay, so let's continue on. I wonder what that statue was. Was that Lil Joe? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Take five or ten. Totally. No problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out Graver 3. Okay, so... I'm gonna give her some space. Too bad I can't run or anything. Okay, what's this? Rose 95. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years. Wow, that is definitely a long time. When she was born, the most high tech was horses. She had to like look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Anything else? Okay. Okay, taken by flu, 14 years old. Man, that's young. Catherine Fish. Ah, dang. Live like 14 years. Uh, that's not enough time. Poor family. Yeah, definitely poor family. Man. Okay, I'm just sad now. Else, a oh, look. Uh, hello, sir. Are you the groundskeeper? I did not mean to like be anything rude or anything. I didn't. I wasn't trying to dig up anything. I swear. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have ya. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig graves with shovel? Do you get spooked here all by your lonesome self? Yeah, I like that question better. Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pays well? You think about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Freaking sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Anything else? Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghosts. Uh, grave guy. Career idea, great difficult. Isn't that nice? A other... Okay, another one. Brad Boyson. A bike? No age. Ooh, fancy. Unless the bike is named Brad Boyson. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. I guess he loved his bike. Why would they put a picture of something that killed him? That did not make sense. Like, if they put, this girl was hit by a car, she's gonna put a car right on the grave. So he loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, jeez, B. How long does the mom visit take? A while. Tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crud. I am a jerk. Yep. Okay, so... 
Guy's still here, though. See anything else? So much for that. I don't know what is wrong with this thing. Every time I'm like taking a step, it like glitches back. It like rocks it. I don't know if it's the computer or the game. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that? You know how we've been having sinkhole problems. Yeah. Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you worried the ground's gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these things where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. Music? Is someone having a party? And like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Let me go see about Bee's mom's grave. I'm really curious now. So it's way down here in this valley, I think. I guess this is it. A lone grave by itself. But man, right next to wherever that is. Okay, so let's go up. I'm guessing if I visited her grave while B was visiting, I would have seen something. But I don't know about that. I was gonna give her some space so she can have her visit. Okay, so up here? I wonder who's up here. Is someone like having a little camp out or party right in a graveyard? Hmm. Okay, stairs? What in up here? Okay, now it's red. In whom world are these guys? Um, they look familiar. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Ha ha ha. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, we've met. So these are the teens, the one that were hanging by the lit cliff. So these are the teens, the ones hanging by the cliff. What y'all doing? Yeah, you're not answering, are you? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. You mean that rickety one right behind you? There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions. Truthfully, what? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? Done what? Kiss what? Done it or done it? Done it? You heard me. How old are you, teens? Answer. No or yes. No. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What in the world be? That's the first. What? When? Summer before eleventh grade. Wow, that early. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you were talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? Seriously? Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. God help me. Oh my god. Top notch math though. This is boring. 
Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. These are like the questions that you see off of the teenage magazine. Yeah, don't you want to at least ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling. We go see wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or girl, but they have to be like, Ugh. because I don't even want to date someone who's not. Ugh. So you're gonna wrestle this person? Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool, and we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding, and then we like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time, I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it? What do you expect? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh. God. One time I was in junior high, one time I was in high school, one time in college. Okay, which one is like the most embarrassing thing to experience in? Well, it would definitely be high school because there's nothing more embarrassing than being like during your awkward stage and all. Plus, there's all that stuff that's going on and you can't control it. So, high school. I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. The same guy from before at the camp out? Oh, wow. I've been waiting for this story for years. And it was awkward and had to wear a dress. And I couldn't slow dance. And he was like really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him. But somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I guess really badly if he's bleeding. I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it and he started choking and like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? Where in the world did you get candy almonds from? I stole them from the tables and I shoved them down my dress. The dress had pockets. So I'm like plowing through all these almonds. And one gets caught in my throat. So you're both choking. Poor Cole has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself a helmet maneuver. It works, but... But... I peek all over Cole. Chicken cordon blue. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking. And me puking in the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. And for some reason, I think to flush him down the toilet. And that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole and pull him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? I guess you walked. That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom? So we're slowly driving to my house. Car is slowing down and honking while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. Yeah, that's definitely embarrassing. That was seriously messed up. May I? I. I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, I just told you my really embarrassing secret. Yeah, nobody's going to top that. You have to come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What in the effing heck? You may go. Dang it! Go to heck, teens. 
ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Okay, I might as well go because I'm just wasting my time here. Okay, let's go. I wonder what's down here. So, it's really light now. Where are we going exactly? So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe them, but... Yeah. So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it. It's not just dreams. Because, obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like... Did you ever see my mom? Uh, shoot. What should I say? Yes? No? Well, I saw a crocodile, but I don't know if it's her or not. Probably yes. It's hard to, like, recognize anyone, but you can get a sense of people. And I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know she's somewhere. And okay. She's somewhere, B. And okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're lying. Or you dreamed it. Or what. But if you just made that all up, it was nice of you. Uh, thank you, B. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is we're locked out. Locked out? By that big gate. Ugh. Why make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. And stop whatever you're gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright. Well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and junk. Jeez. Gotta do everything you hear. It's your ghost. I'm the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Okay, what is... So, this is the gate? Why can't I just go back and go the way I came? Let's see... I'm probably gonna go in, jump on these, like so, and... Hmm. Shoot. Here we go. Now, shoot! Well, I broke it open. Here we go. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I didn't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? I guess leave. What else can we do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, so where is Little Joe's grave and how can we find it? Hmm. So, where is his grave? Well, she's standing right there, for some reason. Joe Shade. That's little Joe? Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ah, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around for ghosts. Ah, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I'm here for you, right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Okay, so let me go look around. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You know, I say. Ha ha ha, okay, okay. So, what's this? I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? 
graves? Wow. Okay, nothing over there. Anything over here, though. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people's graves. And what are we, then? Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Let's see... This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something! It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you're expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his sh junk up. Uh, whoa, dude. Hold on. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Okay, that did not sound right. Yep. And sheath! That was a sinkhole. Holy. Holy, you know. What did you do? You saw me just jump on that gravestone, didn't you? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We were lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yep, his coffin? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crud. We're gonna get haunted for real by his ghost. So, we're gonna open it, right? I know. We're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse inside it. B, it's been a long time. It's probably a skeleton now. He's not rotting anymore. We gotta get- we got more of a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God. We are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kinda curious, at least? Yes? No? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Great, I'm gonna open a casket. This will not be good. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. She's, I'm like shaking. Next thing you know, it pops out right in front of me. Okay, there's something there. Jeez! Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm guessing he's a cat. So, what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives! Or not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two! We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? What? So there's someone back there watching us. Who's watching us? Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave. Now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Well, there they go. Even B lost her. S oh, there it is. Jeez. That thing ran fast. What was that? Well, that was weird, huh? What was that above her thing? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Well, he dressed that way? Okay, fine, but he was there! May, it was a groundkeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundkeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, I saw the effing ghost! We saw someone. There were other people in the graveyard, you know? Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Why would the cops be here? Okay, so... 
Skull hole, little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must be avenge. Saw him. There's dad. Hey dad. Hey you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Well, nothing here. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy? I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Unless you're lifting up really heavy packages of meat. Yeah. Heard you and mom went on an adventure today? Haha, <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Well, that's nice. So, might as well go upstairs. Get ready for bed. Let's see. Bird's asleep. I guess mom's asleep. And I might as well go through that dream again with the magi magicians and all. Okay, here we go. Let me go see if anyone's online. Okay, here we go. Hey, B, you awake? I am very much. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you want, normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. B! What? He was, like, right there! It was totally the same guy from the other night. It was just a normal dude. He wearing that coat and the hat? How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. I'm so... I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Okay, Greg. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like a corpse of a ghost. Or... You know what I mean. Whoa! And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably mad that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know, dude. Good night as heck, brah. Good night as F. Okay, so turn it off. I might as well get some sleep. I definitely need it. Okay, so go to bed. Bedtime? Yep, and there's my football helmet. And there's my axe. And my tuba? Horn, whatever you call it now. Okay, dream. Do I have a dream? Okay, I do have a dream, except for I couldn't see anything. Okay, I'm at night, and there's dunes everywhere. So, is this a desert? So, where am I going exactly? 
At least this is different from the others. Let's see. When was this? An eclipse? I guess. So, but it's so close, though. Hmm. So, is there anything else here? Or am I... Oh, and what is this? What is that? It's like a cat or some kind of mammal. Man, look at the eyes. Hello? Yeah, hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I thought to talk to. Okay. You're not very social, are you? Are you... God? No. Oh. Then, what are you, then? So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. You mean there's someone else than me that been asking? And I'm asking what God is. And they are telling me, and I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes and guess. What should I say? Well, you can't really see God, that's true. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. Okay, what does that mean? So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? In this mystic de desert or something. Where are you? Where are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train. But it was like a town? It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Do you know anything that's going on? Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. Other than you? And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. A tear into what? And they are now gone. And now you are here. Um... A tear? With their hooves. Hooves? Were they horses? They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. What are you show me? Where are those things? Ugh. What are those things? Look like little parasites. Ugh. Oh god. Oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. And after this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Uh, close in the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing. Between the stars and I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even things beyond. And now there's only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home, my friends? So, what should I say? What about the trees in the fall? What about the leaves? How about this one? What about my home? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. So basically, I'm a monster, if that's what you're saying? Then why am I here, dang it? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Why? Where is this going? 
Little creature, you are not chosen. Well, how come I'm seeing all this then? There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. So, basically, I'm just existing for nothing? That sounds weird. In my monstrous existence? Then what was he, then? If he's not, you know... Okay, I'm in my room again. Okay, Echoes. Okay, let's see who's online then. Looks like everyone's online. Morning! Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town center already. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude. At the old snack con. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Okay, plants are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Cap Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Okay. Take nominee today. Turn up founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. Why? I don't know. Well, might as well stop right here right now since there will be a lot more going on next part. But this is all for part 11 of Night in the Woods. So tell me in the comment section of what do you think is going to happen in the next part. We're probably going to go and visit everyone and then we're going to go with Angus to the park where we'll hopefully get to spend some more time with him because of all the characters that I hung out with, I never hang out with Angus a lot. It's always because he's either visiting his family or working at the video store. But at least I get to hang out with him for this one day. And I have no idea what to think about the ghost because we just saw the same guy and he's following us. So I'm really creeped out about it and that's definitely weird. But I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next part and hopefully we can uncover all this mystery of who what this ghost is like and when will is that space cat talking about in the first place. And remember, like, subscribe, share all your friends and I'll see you more in my next video. Bye!